Hey everyone, Old School from WhatTheBuck.net coming to you live from one Buccaneer place here in Tampa, Florida for the final day of Buccaneers 2016 training camp, a joint session with the Cleveland Browns. Uh, sorry I missed yesterday's practice, but it was good to get out here again. The team was in shells, not in full pads, so we didn't get a chance to see a lot of the full contact that maybe a lot of us had hoped for, uh, but they did do that yesterday. Now, uh, from a practice reporting perspective, uh, I see a continued lack of energy that I've talked about in other reports that I don't really like as a fan or as a former coach. I don't like the level of energy I see out of the team. Uh, it's got to increase, but Coach Cutter sounds very confident in his post-practice uh, meetups. It doesn't seem as though he's concerned about it. Maybe this is a metered level of energy that's by design. Uh, but when it comes down to what I saw on the field today, a couple things. One, there was uh, noticeably no Roberto Aguayo. Uh, that's not necessarily a big thing. I was talking to a couple of other media members up in the stands, and there was a big desire to have him come out there. Uh, the concept being that if he couldn't handle people heckling him at practice, how could he handle the real game? I don't really think this is an issue of heckling or that sort of pressure. I think this is a mental issue. Kickers are really kind of weird mentally. Uh, I actually think they should probably get this kid drunk, do something to get his head off the fact that he's missed some kicks, um, and, and get him out there kicking again, but not in front of fans here, which is a, a, a problem. Let him get out there on the real stage and do his job. But to be honest, I'm not focusing that much on kickers today. I focus a little bit more on defense. I liked what I saw out of our defense today, and ones on ones versus the Browns. Got a lot of push from the uh, defensive line across the board. I see a lot of uh, Mr. Matthews, 96, showing up as the number two three technique. The speed package with uh, Jacques Smith and Noah Spence coming in with Gerald going to the inside. Looks very, very stout. I saw a lot of good activity on the defensive backfield as well. Uh, Brent Grimes, Vernon Hargraves had another very good practice as well today. So in general, even though the energy should be higher in my opinion, the individual performances I think are pretty solid. Linebacking crew looks solid as well. I wasn't able to focus on the offense as much today. I watched a little bit of the drills early in uh, practice where they came over here. The, the tight ends and the receivers were doing their routes and that sort of such stuff. And that looked pretty good. But uh, the note from today, you know, I tweeted out earlier, Alar Marpet was in a boot. Uh, there was no report or update on that from Coach Cutter after practice about how long he may be out with that. It is a walking boot. I know that uh, someone had tweeted later that's usually a, indicative of a sprain. Uh, but that meant Evan Smith had a lot of time at guard. The discussion in the post-game press conference on the field with Coach Cutter was how the center competition is coming along between uh, Evan Smith and Joe Hawley. And, and with the reality is this is going to come down to an injury issue. So... In general, some, some nice splash plays. Keith Tandy had some splash plays today. I thought there were some interesting plays uh, by Jameis. Uh, and ASJ was very heavy. It was an interesting Twitter exchange as well. ASJ got a lot of work in the first team 11-on-11s, 11 uh, targeted quite a bit. Now, Cam Braden had a good practice. Brandon Myers had a good practice. Danny Vitale had a good practice. I don't see anything that in the drills leads me to think there's going to be a change in the depth chart. But in the actual 11-on-11, 11 11, I did see ASJ getting used quite a bit uh, to get out there. So... All in all, uh, you know, functional practice, not an exciting practice. Uh, Brian Ford was out here trying to get people fired up, which was good. Brian's done a good job of getting the fans involved. I know everyone's excited about the big panels on Friday night. I know we'll be out there for the game. Uh, we're not tailgating the way we normally do. We're just going to hang out and have a normal tailgate the way normal humans tailgate. But we'll be out there off of 3316 West Ohio. Uh, we got our podcast coming up Thursday night. I believe that Mark Cook will be on with me again. And we'll talk about what happened against the Jaguars, what we look to see against the Browns, and maybe what I missed in training camp uh, yesterday. So thanks for tuning in. We'll get this thing out there and uh, talk to you later.